Hello people. This video is all about the homework number two part two doing with the characteristics and transformations of the quadratic functions. Now remember guys from Miss Randolph you know that quadratic is also called a polynomial and also my people I think I forgot to cover this the name of the shape that it makes is called a parabola this is the name of the shape it makes now when you guys get to a higher mathematics such as pre-calculus or algebra 3 as they call it you're going to know more about parabolas later on now in this class I may drop the name parabola but it just talks about the shape of the graph or the name of the shape of the graph you could call it a u-shape but mathematicians like to give things a specific name so we call it a parabola all right guys for this question it asks you about the vertex remember the vertex is the tip of the um, parabola the tip so when you got this going on it looks something like that the little dot that touches all right so the y-intercept remember we think of the y-intercept the y-intercept when it touches when it crosses the y-axis remember when it crosses the y-axis All right, so I asked you about the domain and range. Remember, the domain is all of the x values, and the range is all the y values. So the maximum, remember, the maximum talks about the y part, the y part of the tip which is called the vertex I know you kids like to make fun of that oh he says the tip but it is the tip but it's the y part of the tip which we call the vertex that acts as a symmetry as the opposite of the minimum or maximum the axis of symmetry is going to be dealing with the x part of the vertex or the tip the minimum I know what's up with that one so in this I'm telling you to create the equation from the description so use your notes and describe all of that Again, I'm asking you to create the equations. Still create the equation. Now I'm asking you from the graph, you create the equations. So look, for this problem and the others, if you want to see a visual representation of your graphs to make sure that you are correct, you may use decimals to see to it that uh, you get a full understanding of the graphs to verify your work and the same here so you got a graph here and you have to create that equation based on what you actually see now this is more about what you see versus me telling you specifically here explain how the transformation changes the 
characteristics of this function, right? So what I'm asking you for is, you know, talk to me about the domain range and all the other characteristics that was talked about. And that's how you do the homework.